Welcome. This is Under the Influence, the only place where you guys are allowed to speak your mind while being over the alcohol limit. In this show, we're going to ask our guests some questions about a particular topic, and they're going to tell us their honest opinion while they drink the best truth serum known to man. Our topic today is, what does it mean to be a New Yorker? Please, tell us about yourselves a little bit first, and then answer the question. Ladies first. All right. Well, um, I grew up here in New York. I was born and raised here. Um, I work in advertising, and I am an actress. So I guess I'm kind of a, I could be a quintessential New Yorker. Cool. When did, when did you start acting? Um, since I was really little. My parents are in the entertainment industry, so it was kind of forced upon me, to say the least. Cool. There's a lot of artists in New York City. Absolutely. What do you think about that? This is where everyone comes to, you know, try to live their dreams, either here or L.A., right? So mm -hmm. for the people, for my issues, the people who, who live in New York, it's always like, you know, this is this is my stomping ground. This is my hood. And you come in here and you can take all my all parts. Feel. But, That's you know, it's, 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 you know, it's a curse and a blessing. Like, it's cool because you okay. get to meet so many different people and you feed off their energy because they're so amped to be in New York and all that. Right. But, you know, for right. me, it's home. Right. What about you, Amos? Nice. Tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Amadis Rodriguez, as you already know. <laughs> and um, I grew up in New York. I've been here for 20-something years. Mm -hmm. I came here to pursue an acting career, and then I did many different things on the way there. I'm still pursuing an acting career. Mm -hmm. So you're the people that come in and take my acting jobs. All right, exactly, cool. Yeah. All right. So you're a waiter. <laughs> I mean, so you're a waiter, basically. I've, I've, is that what I'm funny, sorry? I don't know. I work in advertising. No, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it's funny you say that. Yeah, a lot There's of my lot friends of that are actors, they do like Absolutely. catering jobs and yeah, it's a good job in your I don't. You need an open schedule. I don't know how to do that. I can't. <laughs> like I've tried. Like I, like, I just can't. My wrist that's not strong enough to hold. It. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I haven't done that. But I've, um, I'm into TV. I make cool. televisions. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So what does it mean to be a New Yorker for you guys? Are you guys New Yorkers? Or are you guys not New Yorkers? What does I'm it mean? I'm New Yorker. Yeah. You're what is a New Yorker. It, what does it mean to be? I, well, one, I feel I was born and raised here, but I, I don't know. I've, I've always heard that if you lived in New York for what more than ten years or something, you consider yourself a New Yorker. Ten minutes. Ten years. I love that. No, I love that idea. I love that idea. Why ten minutes? Tell. Why would you say ten minutes? Nah, it doesn't take long to be a New Yorker. Like what? I like that. No, idea. it's true. Like. Well, it's not 10 minutes, literally, but I don't think Obviously. it's 10 years. I think, like, if you need this a couple of months, you start acting like a New Yorker right away. Like, you think so? Yeah, I, yeah. Well, wait, 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 hold on. There's a lot of people that come to this country, right. you know, from everywhere in the world. Hence, that's why we're the, you know, number one melting pot. Right. In terms of that, like, immigration, culturally speaking, or whatever, it's different. Like, do you think everybody that comes here actually adopt that culture? And what is that culture, first of all? Well, I don't know. My, my father was born in Panama, so he mm. came here from Panama. Um, and he, I guess, but see, I, I guess I'm kind of just proving your point, because he was like, as soon as I, he lived in the Bronx when he first got here, and it was like, as soon as I got here, I felt like a New Yorker, like this mm -hmm. was just my people. And of course, it helped that, you know, his whole family lived in the right. Bronx, so it helped. But I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, damn, yeah. damn you, Amal, well, you're right. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> see, it took it 10 minutes. I mean, you're no, right, no, no, you're right. It took it 10 like, minutes. It takes, I mean, it's not going to happen as soon as you get off. The plane, right? But it didn't happen to me. I didn't even know how to speak English when I got off the plane. I did though. All I knew was to be quiet. But <laughs> <laughs> you didn't but, uh, know how to speak English. What? Uh, uh, how old were you when you got here? I was nine years young. Nine years young. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So now cool. I'm a little older than that. And what was the first thought when you get when you got off the plane? What was Where's it? the snow? Where's the snow? Really? Yeah. yeah that's that's what my dad said. Yeah. My dad I mean, got I'll, here and he got here in the summer and he was like, "There's no snow." I thought it snowed yeah. all year round. Well, I'm from Colombia, so like when I got here, I was like, "Where are the tall buildings?" Huh. Yeah. I was like, I literally got here at 11.30 and then at 12 I was in Times Square. Oh, so that was cool. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> now it's like I hate, hate Times people. Square. Times Square is, I Why do you Times. hate it? Oh, I work in Times Square. So. First of all, does that mean you're a real New Yorker because you hate Times Square? Do real New Yorkers hate Times they Square? They do. I can say that I've never, and I never would, go to Times Square for like the ball drop on New Year's Eve. I've never done that. Like, why would I don't you like do, to see that? Balls I'm not do that? Well, <laughs> I don't like to see balls drop in the middle of Times Square. I'm not, I'm not a <laughs> big fan of crowds. <laughs> But, but no, like, why would you do? It's just the crowds, and then so many cops, and cops make me uncomfortable, and I, I'm, yeah. I'll pass. But I'll pass. Cool. <laughs> I think being in New York is like hitting the lotto. It's like yeah, like, I agree. You could do anything in New York. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I could just walk out right now and go have some Thai food. And that's true. In New York, yeah. You can literally pick like any nationality. Like, anything, what do you want? Yeah. What do you feel like having? Koreans like two blocks away. I mean, this is a secret location. I can't tell you. It's not. <laughs> it's a couple of. We're blocks recording away. at Peter Dillon's, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo -woo, Peter. Big shout out yeah. to Peter Dillon's. Big shout out. Des. Woo woo. Can I go over there? 
cool. So yeah, and you, if you want Mexican food, you go to Chipotle. <laughs> that's <laughs> not Mexican. I'm that's like that. No, you go to Taco Mix on one sixteenth, like, yeah. and that's when you go to get Mexican. Food. Yeah, but no, it's like hitting the lotto. You have everything, all different ethnicities, and um, it's diversity. I like diversity. Cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, I feel comfortable. All right. Now let's go out the street and let's find out what other New Yorkers have to say about this. So what it means to be a New Yorker, I'm not sure yet, but I mean, I think it's just, you know, living life, getting to and from the train and doing it, doing it right. I mean, there's a ton of great places around here, there's a ton of stuff to do around here, that's partly where my girl came up, and that's, that's it, I mean, really. I mean, we try to bring what hasn't been brought to other places in the world. Basically, it could be anything. It could be your talent, it could be your look, it could be whatever it is that you want it to be. You understand? And it's here. This is where it's at, you know, it started, and this is where it's gonna be at. So. I think that everyone here is very adverse yeah. to other diversities and to other religions and to other people from other countries. And I think in any other city, it's just really not like that. It's not like you look at other people and you're like, you are me and I am you. I ain't gonna, you know, say all that, but you know, there's a lot of stuff here. It's whatever you want, it's here. Like I said, this is where it started and this is where it's gonna finish. So. Welcome back. What would this show be without a drinking game? We're gonna shoot some true or false questions. Whoever gets it wrong, they're gonna have a tequila shot. All right? Question number one. The brain is more active when we're asleep. True or false? True. False. You get a shot. Ha! Come here, Johnny boy. I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. But well, you have to take a shot. That yeah. bad. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, it looks so painful. Thanks. This is, uh, so, the, <laughs> whoa, how, how is the brain more active when I'm sleeping, though? You actually have dreams. Yeah, yeah think about it. You, like, <laughs> think about it. You dream. Like, if you, 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 got you have from? multiple you dreams every night. I got Google? it on the Twitter site, probably. Oh, Google. Google? You Googled that, no? I probably Googled that. Exactly. I don't know. It's probably an excuse for, to, you know, have you drinking. Go for it. I mean, so, I think you should take drink a shot the fucking if you can explain drink to me the fucking why. Shot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, because I'm not dreaming right now. I'm like, is this a dream? <laughs> this is probably a dream. Number two, in France, it is legal to marry a dead person. True or false? Yes, both? that's false. very legal. False and true. You take the shot. That what? is true. Of Sorry, bro. Come on, you can marry. Why would... That doesn't make any sense. Man, take the shot. Anyway. Here you go. But if he's already dead, Tequila. you can yeah, you marry him? Tequila. Tequila. You can't question the French. Number three, in Bangladesh... Children as young as 12 can be jailed for cheating on their exams. True or false? I want to say true. I want to say true, too. Shots for both of them. Damn it. Come here, guys. <laughs> Shots this for both of them. This is so terrible. It's, it's okay, guys. Just two, just two more. Just two more. Y'all didn't know I'm part Irish. I drink whiskey. This whole tequila situation is just not <laughs> You're Latina today. Ay, wepa. Wepa? <laughs> Go for wepa. it. Wepa. No. Cheers. Cheers. Um, you don't get to take shots? I know, what are you drinking beer for if you're making us take all these Worry shots? Worry about yourself. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to need a chaser, though, for real. Johnny. Oof. Chaser. Number five. Almonds are a member of the peach family. True or false? False. Okay, really? What? Is that really a question? That's false, bro. Thank God. Almonds are a <laughs> member of the peach anymore. family. True or false? Fools. You both get a shot. What? No, no, no. We got to fact check I'm that. I'm sorry. Wait, Can we go? Members of the peach family. The peach family? Peach? It's, it's I did some fucking research. Like wow. That. Nah, that like Wikipedia fact needs to be checked. Three no. more shots, please. Three more shots? See, I'm going to join you guys at this point. I think, yeah. I'm going to join you guys at this point. Oh, place. man. Jesus Christ. Oh, Louis, you know, you were my friend before now. <laughs> now I really question our friendship. You um, paying for the cab, too? Yeah, he, no, you better be. Uber, yo, that's a, you going that's Uber a discount it? on Uber. Get 10% off now. That's Let me ask you the last question. Number six. Last question. Apples. Let's just get started. <laughs> <laughs> the true or false thing. Apples oh. are a part of the Rose family. True or false? Of the what? Apples are See, a part of, like of the answer, Rose family. Rose, yes. It's red. True or false? Roses are what? red. What? That's your, I was going to agree with red. you, but that's Roses your rationale. <laughs> Roses are red. True or false? False? Shut Fuck. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. Right. Sorry. That's a given. What? He's making up shit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna have, like, you don't have, like, the explanations behind these answers. Like, you didn't get the blur. It doesn't matter. Take the shot. Just take the shot. Fuck take the shot. Take the shot. It's all right. All right, cool. All right. Everybody. All right, guys. Last question about New York. New York City. Do you guys think that finding love in New York City is hard? 
Myth, reality. No. What do you think? Yes and no. It's uh, it's easy to find love. It's hard to keep love in New York City. That's pretty deep. Yeah. You know, kudos to that. Because I, yeah. that's exactly what I would say. Because yeah. there's so many people you can't yeah, help nah, but to find someone you're attracted to. Too many distractions, to. yeah. It's, it's, exactly. Yeah. Distractions? It's what like do you mean by you, distractions? It's like when you go to Baskin and Robbins, there's too many options. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's so true because yeah you'll find someone you really click and you love but them you but then you go out somewhere yeah. else and you see him you'll and you're find, like oh, you wow. find a flavor but you're gonna keep you're gonna stick to that flavor there's so no. many new flavors coming out all the time do you have a flavor I have a very specific flavor and I like my flavor very much don't try that's it that's what's up and that's Damn my right. point I have to go there I have to go there oh we gotta we really gotta do all that don't we oh he's over there we gotta do that we gotta do that so shy and shit Thank you guys, thank you viewers, thank you crew, thank you everyone, thank you guys for being here. I'm Maurice Rodriguez, actor, Mia Johnson, actress. Um, till next time, in the meantime, Johnny B, one more. No! <laughs> in the meantime, yes. find no. me on uh, Instagram, Siroama, it's a Maurice backwards. Yo, Mia J, Instagram. You know, Mia J. All right. Hashtag out. Cheers. <laughs> till, ne till the next time. Till the next time. Oh, really? Someone yells cut. Hey. <clears throat> yeah, cut. <laughs>